Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about should you buy Neo in 2021? So I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you guys get anything of value, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and ask them in the comments. And if you guys wanna learn more about investing in the stock market, go ahead and check out my course. It will be the first link down below, and you guys can use promo code DIVIDENDS to get 50% off the course. So it's definitely worth it, so at least check it out. So now guys, that jump into it, roll that intro, let's go. So now I think every investor knows that NEO has had an amazing year in 2020, but is that momentum going to continue to go into 2021? Now me personally, I think it's going to, but I think it's all about understanding risk and reward. You have to understand that each time that this stock goes up in value, that it gets a little more risky to invest in. So now what is the best strategy to invest in this company? Should you invest one lump sum and have to try to get in at an undervalued point or should you do a different strategy? Well, you guys guessed it. I think you guys could use a strategy called dollar cost averaging. It's a very easy strategy for beginners and you don't have to worry about getting in overvalued or undervalued because you're gonna get a good average price. Let me break it down. So now what you do is you're still gonna invest $1,000 but you're gonna break it up into monthly or weekly payments. So instead of investing that thousand dollars, you're gonna invest a hundred dollars per week over the next 10 weeks or over the next 10 months. So what this does is it gets a good average price for your shares. So whether the stock's going up, you're still gonna be making money because the share price is going up. And if the stock falls down, that's where you're gonna be just averaging your position down. It's a great way to invest in a lot of these high volatile growth stocks and reduce risk reduce volatility, and overall make a lot of money in the long run. So now let's actually go ahead and do some technical analysis. You know, I honestly think that NEO carries a ton of short-term and long-term potential. They have increasing deliveries, increasing revenue, increasing margin. A lot of things look very, very promising for this company. Now, let's go ahead and look at the charts. Alrighty guys, so we have NEO, N-I-O. You guys can see that this stock hit lows here at a dollar and 19 cents and really has just kind of slowly been rallying up. And then mid this year, the stock has literally exploded in pressure. Now, the reason why a lot of people are buying this stock is in hopes of this company really being the next Tesla because you know if we compare this stock to Tesla honestly their charts are very similar TSLA here Tesla so you guys can see that we've had beautiful growth and really just accelerated buying pressure so now let's go back to NIO you guys can see that it hit this little price point sold off and then rallied up let's go ahead and look at NIO so NIO had a very similar thing it hit it consolidated and then really exploded up all the way to $56 per share, sold off, hit this nine moving average line. This nine moving average line is overall acting as support for this stock right now. Cause you guys can see, every time the stock hits it, we get buying pressure, boom, boom comes in contact right in here. You guys can see with this little wick, when it's just that line there, that means that buyers are entering this position. Similar thing here, boom, buying pressure. So now we really confirm that there's some, some support here at around 40 to $41 per share. And some old resistance here at around $54. So really, if you guys would enter right now, you'd be risking about $4 to make upwards of 10. Now, for a swing trade perspective, that's a pretty good risk and reward uh, ratio. But you have to understand when a company rallies this much, the risk level goes up. So each time that this company hits a new price point, creating new highs, it can always sell off just like it did in here because you never wanna be holding the bag for a stock like this. But if you guys care about this short-term volatility, then you guys probably will lose in the long run, honestly, because you have to look at the long-term uh, potential of NEO. You know, NEO is the electric car manufacturer based out of uh, China. And I do think we're only getting more and more dependable on a lot of these electric uh, cars and a lot of these electric uh, manufacturers. If we just look at California, California plans to eliminate all combustion and combustion engines by 2035. So I do think, yes, we're getting more dependable on a lot of these cars and honestly, increasing revenue, increasing demand, increasing uh, margin and a lot of very, very strong things. So kill it with dollar cost averaging and you guys will be good. And if you guys are going to enter 
for a one lump sum investment i would try to get in at around 39 to 40 dollars a share if not if you're trying to time it you're going to be missing out on some gains because it's better to be in the market than out of it it's better to time the market because time in the market is better than um timing the market guys so that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and ask them in the comments. And if you guys want to learn more about investing in the stock market, go ahead and check out my course. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys. Have a good one.